The parents of the Louisville bank shooter spoke in an exclusive interview this morning with the Today Show. Todd and Lisa Sturgeon talked to Savannah Guff Guthrie about how inconceivable this tragedy was and the change they hope to see. Evening Edition's Angie Bevan has more about what they shared. He did this to um, totally innocent individuals. There was no provocation, no justification, no rationalization at all. They were just trying to do their jobs, provide for their families. It was a little over two weeks ago that 25-year-old Connor Sturgeon shot and killed five employees at Old National Bank in downtown Louisville, where he worked. He also injured eight others, including critically injuring a police officer. Police shot and killed Sturgeon. Parents Lisa and Todd Sturgeon saw him last on Easter Sunday. They say he hung out with a friend that night, and they were stunned to get calls the next morning. I picked it up, and that was his roommate letting me know that um, I, I'm not really sure about the details, but it was something along the lines of um, Connor called his roommate and said, I left some notes there. Call my mother. I'm going to go in and shoot up. Old National. As I'm driving, then I get a call that says there's been shooting in there, multiple shots. <sighs> and uh, you go from praying for his life to praying that this is unimaginable, that he just commits suicide and doesn't hurt anyone else. Todd and Lisa Sturgeon said their son had started experiencing mental health challenges in just the last year, panic attacks, anxiety, and an attempted suicide. They say he was getting treatment. Lisa says the week prior to the shooting, he told her he had a panic attack at work. Even when he was telling me that he was sort of in a crisis, we thought we had it handled. We, we thought it was being managed. I'm afraid that whatever we come up with as the cause isn't going, still isn't going to make sense. So here's what we know. We know that Connor was seeing two health, mental health professionals. Just what we've been told is that he walked in and was walked out with uh, a weapon and ammunition in 40 minutes. Because of his mental condition, he should not have been able to purchase the gun. They wanted to come forward to share their sorrow, support for the victims' families, and the questions they still have. We have a concern about inadvertently being disrespectful to the families. Our heart is just shattered for, for them and what they're going through. Angie Bevan, Evening Edition.